All right, so in order to do this new TN exploit, you're going to need Vita X um, update blocker and Thunderbird. Now, this exploit can be used on 3.52 and lower, but um, if you want to use it on 3.55, which is the latest framework of this um, two date, you will need to um, install this update on 3.52 and lower first before updating. After you install it on 3.52 or lower, and then you update to 3.55, which is the latest framework right now, you will be able to use the exploit. Um, updating is still not recommended because a lot of these tricks that is now available on these lower firmwares will be patched. And the links for all these programs will be in the description, so don't worry. Alright, so we're going to put the IP address and the port that Vita Update Blocker gave us into the Vita's Wi-Fi settings. Alright, so from this point, I'm showing you how to um, insert the IP address and the port into the Vita. From there, you'll have access to the PSN store. The minute you get into the PSN store and it says, please wait, you have to you have to pause the PSN store app, go back to your settings, and disable the proxy. As you keep watching, you will see. Alright, so once in the PlayStation Store, you're going to want to find this game called Local Roco Midnight Carnival. Um, I tried searching to the demo section of the PlayStation Store to find this demo, and um, I was unlucky. Turns out you have to actually search up the game itself in order to find it. So, yeah. Once you find it, um, just download it straight to your PS Vita. Alright, next you're just going to want to um, back up the game to your QCMA or CMA or OCMA, whatever backup, whatever program you use to handle files on your Vita. Alright, so for frameware's 1 to 3.36, we don't want to download the file that's named FW350TNV11Bubble.zip. For any framework within the range of 3.5, like 3.52, 3.55, or 3.51, you're going to want to download the framework, the, the file name FW352TN-V1Bubble.zip. There's a few differences in there, but the steps are exactly the same. Alright, All right, so you're going to want to download the file, um, download your save file, and extract that somewhere. I extract it to my desktop personally. And once you extract it, you're going to also want to download, download this other file that has the Frameware 660 PSP e e e boot. So let me go to that. So you're going to download that. Sorry, my internet speed is a bit slow. So um, once this is downloaded, you're going to go into it until you find the e boot. And you're going to rename it. You're going to transfer it over to the save, the TNV save file. And rename it 660. And once it's named 660. You are going to drag the entire TNV save data folder 
to wherever your PS save data folder actually is in order to transfer it over to your PS Vita. So in my case, it would be in my user PS Vita PS save data. And then there would be my ID code and I'd put that in here. Um, for some people, the save data may be located in their documents. You can check there. Um, if you can't find it, I suggest Googling it or searching it up on some whatever search engine you use. And yeah, just put it in that folder and transfer it over to your Vita. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go back into that save data folder on the computer and find the TMV save data folder. In there, you're going to find the pboot and you're going to rename it number zero, the, the hashtag zero with no, um, no extension. Okay, so in this part, all you're doing is sending yourself the file through Thunder Thunderbolt or Thunderbird. I don't remember the name. I apologize. But you have to remember that the subject has to be the dictionary. I'll leave it in. I'll leave um, what you have to copy and paste into the subject in the description. And from there, you're gonna need the game ID of your base game. So in our case, it would be Midnight Carnival. So to find your base game's um, number, you go into back to your PS Vita file, um, to P game, and then from P game, you would you should find the your ID code for your the game you're looking for, and from there um you would paste that into the game ID part of the subject, and then just send send it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I did um struggle to find where to put the attachment in this email, but turned out it was on the right side. So yeah. yeah. Anyway, from here um we're gonna go on the Vita and go into the, the email app to see if the email sent it to ourselves. If we have the email went through. Alright, so once on the Vita, you're gonna find you're gonna go into your email app and find the email you sent to yourself. Now in the email, if the icon is not a camera, it means you either did something wrong or you haven't done the new email trick before, in which I'll leave a tutorial for that in this description. Um you're gonna have to do this trick, it's really quick to get it to change back to a camera in which you need. But if it is the camera icon, then click on it and do not click OK. Quickly exit exit the email app, turn off your Vita, and then restart it, and then rebuild your, your, your database. The database can be rebuilt using with having the Vita off and then holding the power button, the home button, and then the right shoulder button down all at the same time while powering on the Vita. From there, you just click on the rebuild the database. If you follow the rest of the video, you, you'll see. Okay, from here it's pretty easy. You're just gonna open up your base game, and while opening, you're gonna be holding the R button. And then while holding the R button, you'll be put into the TNV um, recovery menu. And from there, you're gonna go into advanced. And from advanced, you're gonna go into install 6.60 files. 
This will install your files onto your Vita in which you can use the exploit from, from now on. You don't have to do this every so you no longer have to hold down the arm and the start TNV. You just go onto your base game, click it, and it should start up automatically. And yeah, so that's it. Congratulations, you now have TNVs installed on your Vita. I hope you have fun with it actually. Uh, it took me quite a long time to figure out myself until I found I thought I should show it to other people. Um, if you like the video, like, um, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, yeah, comment. I'll be definitely be watching the comment section if you guys are having trouble and answering questions. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.